Last week I took you on a journey through the artistic genius of Charles White, the modern day Da Vinci. I showed you some of my greatest pieces from my time as an art major in college. Of course, my crowning jewel, my magnum opus, being this portrait of my father that I created. When I first saw this, when I rediscovered this artifact here, this treasure, I actually didn't know it was my dad at first. I thought it was one of the models from the class I drew it in, which was figure drawing, where he had people come in. And I thought the model just happened to look like Jared Fogle from the Subway commercials. But the reason I knew this was my dad is because I recognized the chair he's sitting in, and I was like, wait, that's my fucking dad I drew, huh? And then, of course, all the similarities just started hitting me. It's a very abstract interpretation of my father, but to the keen eye, the trained eye, you'll immediately recognize it, I would say. Now, is this the single worst piece of art in history? Absolutely not. Is it the best piece of art in history? Yes. Yes, it is. I really love everything I was able to capture here. If I was to go back and redo this, the one thing I'd do is I'd get rid of the camel toe. Uh, my dad, he doesn't have like a visible camel toe or anything like that, but I hit him with some moose knuckles here, and he didn't deserve that. I didn't do it on purpose, it's just there were some folds in the pants I was noticing, I think, and I just accidentally reverted to like hentai techniques. So a, a bit of a miscalculation there. I also might want to have put some legs on the chair, because right now it looks like it's a floating chair, like he's fucking Modoc. But everything else is right on the money, I would say. I really like what I was able to do with his torso here. It kind of makes him look like a thwomp from Super Mario 64, just like a giant fucking block. He's not like this wide or anything, but I was playing with dimensions, of course. As an artist of my caliber, it's nice to distort reality a bit and play around with proportions, which is, of course, I was experimenting here with great success. Uh, I need to definitely get that framed and maybe find some candles to put around it to make it look like some kind of satanic ritual where, like, that's the deity we're worshipping or something. But it, it definitely needs to be, a, like, in an art museum or something, I would say. But anyway, this isn't, this isn't about the actual art pieces. I wanted to tell another story from my days as an art major because I hinted at a, a few tales from back then in the last video and I figured I'd share one right away. This is one that I've only touched on briefly, like, in the podcast and in the past. And I never bothered to finish the story because it's extremely embarrassing and I actually feel pretty shameful for it. But I figured it's 2021, baby. Shame's a thing of the past. So let's fucking get in here, raw and no rubber, and I'll just tell you it like it is. So I took a figure drawing course, which is where I drew that piece as well as many others, where it's basically drawing people and things that you see in person. And one component of this course was drawing nude models. The idea being that you capture the human anatomy like it is, and you just go in there and put that pencil to the paper and let it all hang out there. No secrets among the art students. Prolapse rectum and all from the model. It's going on the canvas. And it's that shit that you used to see in the old movies where, you know, the protagonist would go into an art class and everyone's drawing a naked guy whose dick is flopping around. It was that, but I took the course in real life. I didn't know it at the time, so when I went in and saw a naked man posing in front of everyone, I was pretty shocked and caught off guard. I thought I'd walked into, like, a Reality Kings porn shoot or something, but... Uh, it turns out that was just a component of the semester. And it was pretty fucking weird and uncomfortable. It was a three hour session twice a week for this course. And the nude model we had was this guy who would strike a pose that we'd do our best to capture. And he would just listen to music after striking the pose. So he just, he wasn't even putting his heart and soul into it. He'd just throw on the boner jams and transcend to the avatar state and leave this corporeal dimension, leaving us struggling art students behind in the fucking fallout barren wasteland of art, doing our best to capture his weird superhero pose. The position he chose was like the combination of crimson chin meets goatsy. It was something kind of like this. So he came and he had hands on his hip leaning forward like this but he had a little stool in front of him so he could put his leg up and he leaned forward a little bit just so that way you could see a little bit of his butthole if you were unfortunately positioned behind him which of course i was not directly behind him so i didn't have like the full butthole spread action but i had like tip of like outer rim of anus plus some wrinkles because uh, i was still on like the back side i didn't have front so i'd saw like from my position since his leg was up I had a little bit of, like, cock head dangling in front, like, like kind of like a sunset behind his ass cheeks, and then, like, asshole rim plus wrinkles. It was, it was like a, like a Banksy painting, like, if he drew the beach, 
and then like put some ass cheeks in front of it with the dick behind it. You know what I mean? It, it was a very uncomfortable situation to be in, and especially just to sit there and with like my little pencil measuring his asshole circumference, uh, trying to make sure all my dimensions are right because the professor was grading on like dimensional accuracy for like the figure drawing portions. Obviously, these pieces here, she just wanted to gauge where we were at for the most part. But when it came to actually drawing what she had in front of us. She would pretty much evaluate us based on how close we were to capturing the dimensions. So everyone was like really going deep into capturing each segment. The technique she taught us was to look at everything like letters in the alphabet. Like for example, they, a asshole would be kind of like a C from my position. Because I wouldn't have the full circle so it wouldn't be an O. It'd be just a C. So then I'd have to measure out the C on the paper. And not to get into like the rubric and the grading criteria, but just to explain that I had to sit there for three hours thoroughly analyzing the wrinkles and dimensions of a man's asshole, ass cheeks, and like cock head. And it was just really uncomfortable for the most part. So after, I only did this for one course. After this, I went home because uh, I went to college not too far away from where my parents lived. I went home and I was like, look, you guys need to come up with an excuse because I cannot sit in this course for the next three weeks drawing dick and asshole for a collective six hours a week. I just can't do it. So we eventually came up with the idea that we would use religion as my excuse. So I didn't want to like just not go to the course because I didn't want to fail the course because it was like a three week course. And by missing all of that, I would absolutely fail. So it would have been just a huge waste of money. So we used religion as like the scapegoat. So I had my parents send her an email, uh, like acting all outraged, like how could you have our son Charles drawing butthole in your course? This directly goes against our beliefs in, in the Lord and his teachings and the, the Ten Commandments in the Bible. Uh, this is absolutely unacceptable. Charles will not be attending the course and we expect he will still get full credit because we wouldn't have allowed him to take the course if it was disclosed beforehand that nude model drawing was a requirement. It sounded like something a fucking Scientologist would have written except far more polite. They weren't like mean about it or anything. It was just using religion and the uh, inability to see butthole and cock as an excuse to not go to the course for three weeks. And then they sent it and then she... she uh, sent me an email and then talked to me saying, look, she understands, uh, she apologized to me, but she didn't need to do, and she still gave me credit and told me just to sit out the three weeks and come back towards the end. So, uh, yeah, I, I got out of drawing that by using religion, the ultimate excuse. It was a, a genius plan, to be honest, and I feel really bad about it, and the reason I've never told this is because I really am super embarrassed. I, I should have just toughed it out and drawn more dick and asshole, but six hours a week thoroughly measuring a guy's dick and balls and stuff it just it was it just wasn't exactly what I had signed up for as an art student it never even crossed my mind that that would be one of the art curriculum like part of the art curriculum so I, I just kind of panicked I was like look I, I just don't want to keep doing this I, I really don't I'm not trying to get into like furry porn art or anything I, I just wanted to make some cartoons uh, not these kind of cartoons I just I just wanted to get out I felt trapped and of course the only out was playing the playing the religion card and luckily my parents were on board to send that email and and I still got credit I still passed the course and yeah that was that so I still feel bad about it like lying to her because she was a super sweet professor and just a really nice person all around but I just really didn't want to keep going to that course and doing that for three weeks but if I I do now have the tools to draw asshole if I'm ever in a situation that calls for it. Like let's say I'm in a situation where a bomb is going to detonate and the only way to defuse it is by drawing the villain's butthole. I would be able to capture his brown balloon knot down to the millimeter and save the day. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a huge waste of time or anything, but you know... Uh, I never finished the course, so maybe maybe I wouldn't even be able to, to fully figure out how to f capture a butthole. But I feel like I one course was probably plenty. But anyway, that's about it. See ya.